<clears throat> Good afternoon everybody It's Saturday Can only mean one thing 1pm Saturday with me How about that For a full hour and a bit you know it's not going to be an hour. <laughs> I'll wait for you to all get logged in. I'll have a coffee while I wait for you. Oh, that's lovely. Afternoon, everybody. Hi, Trudy. Hi, everyone. Just a few points set to you. There's only six. Oh, no, I'm lying to you. There's another one somewhere. <laughs> Oh, right. There's quite a bit to get through on this. So, I wasn't going to do this. I wasn't going to let you see the Christmas stuff until next week. Um, but I was talking to Julia and I, th I thought it'd be a nice little treat uh, just to show you ahead of time. Because obviously I'm not going to be able to do the Facebook Live next Saturday because I will be on Ho-Chanda. So, um, we maybe it depends how I feel because after a one day special I usually have a migraine. So I will have to let you know next Saturday whether we're doing one on Sunday or not. Um, hi everyone. Hi everybody. I'm waiting for you to all get logged in. Um, oh, hi Mary from Ireland. Hi Carol. Hi everybody. Oh, you're coming too quickly now. I can't say it. So just, hey, hi everybody. Right, so um, I'm not going to show you the rest of the card. I'm going to wait until I've shown you the product. So... This, this is a real treat because I'm showing you these earlier than I should do. Uh, but I thought, you know what, we deserve it. We've had a rough year, so let's have a treat. Afternoon, everybody. So I'm going to move this out of the way. I don't know where I'm going to put it because I've got stuff everywhere. It'll have to go up there. And I'm going to take you through the product. So I'm not going to spend ages on them. But I'm just going to give you a little preview, if you like. Um, because there's quite a lot of new stuff so as you would expect uh, you've got a new release from me and a new release from Trudy it's Trudy's first Christmas and they're stunning absolutely stunning so I'm going to show you the stamps first so I've got all mine in an A4 tub so clearly you can see yeah there is a few there is a bit of space pull for a few flowers um, so, so straight away you can see that we've got the the medallions and we've got the coins. So my Christmas this year is the sentiment coins and the and the sentiment medallions. But I'll talk you through those in a minute. I'm going to take you through through this first, and I'm going to be quick because really I'm going to let Julia do this. So Trudy has two new characters. Let me take them out of the tub. And these two new characters you're going to see a lot of. So Christmas is Trudy's introduction to these. They're absolutely stunning, right? So this, this lady is called Heidi and this guy is called Kai. So you're going to get used to seeing a lot of these. So I'm going to quickly flick through. I'm not going to spend too much time on them because I want Julia to be able to do this on TV. I mean, look at that detail. That is incredible. And I know Trudy mentioned somewhere that she'd got... Um, 57,000 individual strokes on one of these stamps. I can't remember which one she'll tell us But that just shows you how much work there is there is in these stamps. Yeah So what we've done is we've kind of put them into little pairings So you've got the angel and you've got the nutcracker nutcracker sounds like it hurts, but I love it <laughs> Then you've got the Christmas jumper girl and the Christmas jump well Christmas jump Heidi and Christmas jumper Kai She's got a cat. He's got a dog. So I'll quickly flick through yeah, I mean, these are just amazing. She's so, so, so talented. And then look at these. Look at these. The Snow Princess and the Snow Prince. A little bit Jack Frosty. You imagine the fun you're going to have with these. Yeah, and these are full. You can see that I couldn't get these any taller on the A6 stamp sheet. So these are perfectly sized for whatever size project you're going to work with. Yeah. Um, amazing to colour and Trudy has sent me some images that she's already coloured in and we will start the sneaky peeks next week in the group so if you're not already a member of our group crafting with Phil Martin and 
um, sentimentally yours, you need to find the group, join it, because that's where the sneaky peeks are going to start, yeah? So this is gifts galore, so this is actually all one stamp, and the idea is we can now have these stacked behind, or stand these in front, stand them on top. There's so, so much versatility with these stamps. And then you've got the two A5, wait till you see these, the two A5 extras, look at these. Oh my word, these are phenomenal, <laughs> absolutely incredible. Now I know I'm, I'm teasing you because I've seen these obviously in the development stage and I can tell you how hard Trudy has worked on these. So they're Trudy's, which lead you into mine. And what it means, and this is why I've not gone overboard, yeah, because I want to be able to use these with Trudy stamps. So I'll show you. So we've got the medallion wrap, which is the Christmas tree. This is the one that we're going to be using in this demo. So you know the idea behind this because you've already bought the sentiment coins from earlier. You wouldn't believe how many people asked for Christmas ones. So I did them at the time. I've had these for ages. And, and already I know they're going to be popular because they're absolutely beautiful. So you've got your medallion, you've got some sentiments, you've got the extras to create the borders. This time what I've done is I've made the borders separate, whereas before they were in one piece, which now means you can make your border as wide as you want it to be. Yeah, so that is the uh, old Christmas tree. You've then got the snowflakes medallion. And what I've done, look, you can see I've tried to do a traditional set and something well something that you can use your poinsettias when there's something you can use your snowflakes with so i've covered everybody i mean that you can just see how how beautiful these are going to be once they've been stamped and embossed yeah all the borders are different so none of it is repeated you've got all the extras to go inside the borders and so forth and then you've got the coins i love these absolutely love these i'm going to give you a tip now as soon as the show starts uh my show julie is on on thursday at 7 p.m you need to get the stamps ordered as quick as you can i know it sounds like i'm pushing you but i know that i've allocated all the stock already yeah and if we do go on to extended delivery it's going to be at least two weeks before we can get them back because the manufacturers are just too busy yeah so these are the sentiment coins these are exactly the same size as the original sentiment coins and i've covered just about everything you can imagine so already you know they're going to work with everything, but you know what's coming next. Oh, you won't believe how many people asked me to do this. Sorry, Gavin. <laughs> um, you, th th these are the Ticket Take Tastic Seasonals, and these are a one-off. So I've done one big order. Once they've gone, they've gone. Yeah. So I've only done one DL set because there was no need for me to do two A5 sets with this. But again, straight away, you can see how they're going to work with these and how they're going to work. They're all going to work with Trudy stamps. So as a complete collection from Sentimentally Yours this Christmas, you've got everybody covered. Um, I also know that when Trudy designed her characters, she made sure that they weren't babyish. So the, the, the characters are quite grown up. Yeah. Papers. <laughs> so much for being quick, Phil. Right, so we've got two different paper packs as you would expect. It's exactly the same colourway, yeah. So you've got stars and snow and then you have snowflakes. So I like stars on my Christmas cards. You'll see when we get to the demo because I'm going to use that first. You can't, Pat, I'm sorry, you can't order these before Thursday. They're not, they're not going to be live until Thursday. Julia's show is Thursday and that's the day that we release them. So I'm, it, at least it gives you a warning and it gives you a chance to... Um, fastest finger first <laughs> so i'm just going to quick flu quick uh, quickly flick through you can see the color palette so you know this color palette is going to work with the twinkling embossing powders that we've got already i love this color palette for christmas absolutely love it right so i'm quickly going to flick 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 you can see we've got some shabbiness going on distressed christmas if i flick too quick the screen goes funny yeah I, I mean they're just beautiful look at that look 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 that's what i'm using first and then you've got the snowflakes are you ready <laughs> aren't they just beautiful and i'll give you a little hint some of the snowflakes you might see in dyes shortly right so that's the papers 
moving swiftly on because there's a lot to show you I'll just move them to there I'll have a drink of my coffee do you like them sell a kidney <laughs> I've not finished yet. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Right, so new dies, and you knew these were coming. Right, crikey, you won't believe how busy these have been already, just trade wise. So, poinsettias, as you would expect, you've got my lovely debossed vein detail. And if I bring one in to show you, I'm going to show you just how deep that embosses. Let me try and get that closer. Ooh, 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 ooh. Can you see that? Is it too wide? It's too... It's on focus. Sorry, everybody. But you can see how deep that, uh, that embosses. So you've got the poinsettias there. Then next, you have... Obviously, if you have poinsettias, you've got to have some foliage. So you've got the holly yeah and it's got the same deboss detail i'll show you all this when we get to demo you've got the berry branches i know sorry everybody you're gonna hate me on it next week <laughs> and what you've got is you've got left facing right facing as you would expect from me but you've got two different sizes and i'm conscious that i i know that when i've used things like this before i needed two different sizes yeah so that's your berry branches and last but not least you've got your snowflakes and how beautiful are these and i was only saying to julia yesterday or the day before i can't remember when yeah they cut like a dream and i i use 300 gsm i keep freezing to her sorry i keep i use 300 gsm car stock when i'm doing that uh am i still freezing chrissy i think it's because i'm moving too quickly i'll try and move slower and then also we've not finished yet you've got some more new dyes yeah <laughs> so these are my elegant eyelet collection that follow on from the double d bossed so you can see straight away that you're going to be using these with your double d bossed yeah these are exactly the same size so you can mat and layer with those with the double d bossed yeah so these are the ones that we're releasing first so regardless of what you saw at the back of the magazine these are the first three i'm not releasing them all why does it keep freezing has it stopped now i think it's because i think it's when i move too quickly the camera can't keep up so i'll try and move slower yeah so the circles are being released on my show and the only the only one on my show is the circles the ovals and the rectangles which again are perfect the same size as yeah I've, I've, I've gathered it's when I move too quick I'll move slowly or again the same exact same sizes as the double debossed dies so straight away you've got options for matting and layering sorry Benita <laughs> I've not finished by the way there's still more there's still more <laughs> Janice that's brilliant <laughs> uh, right so that's the dies we for the first time ever we've got some embossing folders oh i've been right there's a story behind these so what i've done is this is the first set of three embossing folders so i've consciously made two that are specifically christmas and one that you can use that's generic yeah so the generic one i will show you in a second so this is like a, a plaid but can you see where you've got thicker lines and thinner lines it looks amazing once it's been once it's been uh, embossed and these are really really thick embossing folders yeah really good impression so you've got the um quintessentially quilted is what i called that one then you have i just absolutely love this one and i've actually got a bit of card here to show you this this is the poinsettia flourish so this poinsettia is exactly the same shape as the dies. Hi Mary, don't worry, you've, you've missed the beginning, but you'll have to watch it back later on, yeah. So this is the poinsettia flourish, and this is what that looks like when it's been embossed. Are they not absolutely stunning? And then last but not least, we've got to have the snowflakes. And I will just tell you that these snowflakes, are, are in the dies as well. So you, you know me, coordination. 
so you've got a coordinated look with the embossing folders and with the um, and with the dies so quite a bit I did warn you that there was a lot <laughs> sorry everybody um, it'll be worth it though it'll be worth it once you've got everything I mean I, I just think personally between Trudy's collection and mine you're going to be able to cover everybody you're going to be able to cover the grandchildren nieces nephews all the adults because you've got everybody covered within that I've not quite finished there are two more things I need to show you yeah and Benita are you sitting down I hope you're sitting down Benita because I've got a six incher for you <laughs> Oh, these have been an absolute labour of love. I can't tell you. I can't tell you. So, Breyers. Oh, I've been after Breyers since I first went on my own. Um, so, well over a year it's taken to get these. And it's taken nearly as bloody long for them to arrive. Yeah. So, what I've done is I've got... So, you've got your... These are red rubber brayers. I'm just going to explain these to you just in case the shows are too busy next week and we don't have time. Yeah. So, when I when I designed the brayers, I wanted a, a bigger one and a smaller one. The smaller one is obviously perfect for doing smaller areas. But if you were doing an 8x8 embossed layer, for example, you, the 6-inch one is going to make it so much easier. These are red rubber rather than... Uh, you've probably all heard of the uh, what do you call the what do you call that one, Julia? I forgot what you call it. I know, Benita. Sorry, darling. It's the weather. <laughs> um, oh, the speedball. The speedball brayer is a is a soft brown rubber. These are a hard red rubber. So I use these slightly different. Uh, I will use these with my embossing folders. Therefore, the hard rubber is actually better. Not sure whether these are out yet, but nothing else is. But you'll need to look. And we are going to use that in a second. Right. Have you recovered? Yes, they are, Gavin. <laughs> only the prayers, love. Only the prayers. <laughs> right, so I'm bringing the card in that we're going to be doing. Speedball, yeah, I remembered. It came to me. So this is one of my samples that I've made myself and I've used the dusky pink tones from the papers. Uh, Jennifer, no. So Jennifer's just asked the question of whether everything will be on Julia's show on Thursday and it won't. Um, so I can't remember. You'll need to watch the shows to see what's on which show. But we've basically got on our shows what we're using. So it just makes more sense. The snowflake dies are... The oval dies, the um, rectangle dies, all of Trudy's stamps will all be on Julia's show. Absolutely, Carol. Right, so this is, I'm just going to turn that around so you can actually see the layers on that. I'm doing it slowly so you don't pixelate. So can you see how I've got one, two, three, four, I've actually got five different layers on there. Yeah. So this is in the dusky pink. The cardstock that I've used is the... Um, rich claret which is like a burgundy color but my thing for this year you know i have a thing every year is to do the insides of my cards yeah so all of the samples that i'm making uh <laughs> Chrissy, that's amazing <laughs> all of the samples that i'm making will will coordinate between the front of the card and the inside of the card so can you see if i bring that close We've got the elegant eyelets, yeah, elegant eyelet, elegant eyelet, elegant eyelet, and then the top one is the same. But on the inside, I've used a debossed one, double debossed one with the elegant eyelet. If you're going to use these dies so, so much. So we're going to recreate this card, and I'm doing it in a different way, in a different colour, because I can use it, uh, I can use it as a sample on my show. The one I'm going to make, I will give away, but I won't do it until after after the shows next week. Uh, you know what I'm like. Right, so I've already done loads to this already. So I'm just going to take you through what I've done, and I'm going to show you the bits that I've done. So this is using the uh, lilac papers. So just to give you a heads up, the cardstock that I've used to go with the lilac is the deep plum yeah 
it is deep plum yeah absolutely it's stunning and it goes so well with with all the purples and the lilac shades so all i've done is i've just matted and layered that i've done my little white stitching you know that's my favorite thing to do at the minute yeah with the white sakura pens so that's going to be the front of the card and then i've got an inside to match so that's going to go inside we're going to work on the die cutting first i've created two little panels yeah so these little panels are using that embossing folder that i've just showed you the quintessentially quilted and all i've done there is use the brayer and the white picket fence distress ink which i'm going to do it in a minute and show you to to highlight that yeah are, are, you, are you giving me a hint Kay? <laughs> like shut up talking fill and get it crafting right so I'm, i've done i'm showing you these because i'm obviously not going to redo all this it just saves time so i've used the eyelets there again and i've used the this is the oh christmas tree sentiment medallion and then that's going on the inside so i'm going to pop that out of the way so first things first I've basically done all that so that I can just start layering but I need to show you these stamps in action so I'm going to show you them embossed because as you know if you know me you know that I test my stamps with embossing powders embossing powders are how I gauge the, the, the quality and the detail in the stamps is right so we're going to use the deep plum cardstock we're going to use, oh, 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 hang on everybody, I've got stuff everywhere. That was me, that was the brayers rolling about the floor. <laughs> I lost your feeling, I've been going frantic. Oh, have you found me now, Barb? Uh, Rose, it's because I'm looking at Barb. Obviously there's going to be snowflakes, because I love snowflakes at Christmas. I can't not have them. So I'm going to do the Christmas tree one from the medallion and i'm going to emboss this in white so when you get to see all the samples when we're on when i'm there next friday evening you will see how i've mixed mixed these up a bit so these look just as good stamped in ink which is what that one is that one's just stamped in ink and they look just as good if not better when you emboss them so let's get the show on the road i love the sentiment coins remember as well that you've already got the day-to-day uh, -day, everyday sentiment coins so if you have if you have those you can then mix and match that collection hi lise long time no see darling uh if you have the original sentiment coins i have put some on the show but we've not got much stock left so if you're looking for generic ones there will be some on my show next week um you're going to be able to use those those sentiments with the christmas ones as well okay that's how good i am right so let me just move my phone because it's been buzzing we're going to anti-static this i'm not going to cut this out but i am going to show you how to do it if i brought my gemini machine over here there wouldn't be enough room for me to work I'll just show you as well what i do so if, if you um Put your if you're going to use a platform like i am today or you can see my light let me just move that you can oh that's even worse let me shut it <laughs> if you're going to use a stamping platform i'm just going to give you a little tip yeah so put that on where you would want it remember if you're going to die cut this out you need to leave enough space around the edge for the die for the die to come out what i've been doing is i've been creating my samples i'm just show you a little blue one i've done as well yeah that's a little blue one i've done and obviously the inside yeah that's the snowflake embossing folder with the brayer so and that one's that one's done with distress oxide but what i did was i stamped all my circles at the same time so i did my i did my medallion then i moved the card across and i did my little center circle then i did my sentiment and i did it all at the same time and what i found myself doing is doing one set in ink one set in embossing powder then you can mix and match it and you basically get two different cards that look same but different with the same colorway right so i'm just going to pick that up and i just need to show you it's not doing it now so when you get these home can you see we've got a bit of an air bubble in there 
that just drives me mad so the way to get rid of that is to just it's still in position look to just roll it back yeah and now there's no air in there so I know that it's going to be flat so here we go shall I, I'll do a sentiment for you at the same time I told you that's what I've been doing so I might as well do it so let's have do, 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 happy Christmas just got to shut this now so we've got happy Chris, uh, winter wonderland sorry no I don't want that one I put them back in the wrong place happy Christmas and then we'll do a little one that says oh, I better show you that won't I I'll just show you that the two sets are different as well I was moving too quick then sorry do I wash or prep my new stamps before using them with ink to prevent ink beading uh, now Andrew I think it I think it depends hi Elaine I think it depends what ink pad you're using um, I, I don't get any of that beading because I use my oxides if you're using your oxides just be heavy with them um, I, I mean I'm I'm really into my embossing so it's rare that I use inks these days uh, unless it's an oxide and I'm going to emboss it but no you don't need to treat them or wash them or anything just just go for it uh, the two different coin sets so the classic set the classic set has the little mini sentiments in it that fit inside the circle so you know you can use those with that and so on and on the modern one I've put little images so again you can mix and match the two so i'm going to use one of the images and we'll do the little the little reindeer so if you do this all at the same time you see it just means everything's done at the same time right here we go so versa mark uh chrissy what time right so julia julia launches our christmas event we've got three days of christmas next week so julia launches at seven she launches trudy's collection at 7 p.m next thursday and then she's back on friday at 7 and 11 7 a.m and 11 a.m and then next friday i am on for the one day special at 6 p.m so i'm on friday at 6 p.m and saturday uh, friday at 8 p.m and then oh god i'm rubbish at these hours and then saturday i'm on eight oh i can't remember julia tell them what time i'm on on saturday i can't remember <laughs> right another little tip for you make sure your platform is flat and i'm just going round the circle look i'm trying to avoid the middle part just in case i press too hard i mean it doesn't matter because you're going to cover up the middle of the you're going to cover up the middle anyway so it won't matter so here we go oops I've got it everywhere now da -da 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 -da. somebody must know the one day special hours better than me <laughs> 8, 12 and 4 that's it thanks Julia <laughs> I'm laughing because I usually text Julia to ask her what time I'm on anyway. <laughs> right, let's see if that's covered everything. And it has. Perfect. Bit of kitchen roll just to stop that being dirty. Um, and just give you another tip as well. Because um, we're making Christmas cards you're going to be using loads of glitter so make sure you don't get bits of glitter stuck on your stamps because I did when I embossed when I embossed one of the circles the other day it had a little disc part missing because I got a little bit of glitter on it right so let's get some white embossing powder on this there we go so where are you white pure white right here we go so let's just get some white embossing powder on this 
Remember your anti-static bags. Oh, I think I must have not anti-static that bit. Sorry everybody, I'm just blowing it. Don't get excited, Benita. <laughs> Poor Benita. Right, okay, let's get that back in the pot. Clearly I got the anti-static bag in all the wrong places. Because the medallion's perfect and I don't think I went as far down as the deer. Ta Hi Val! Right, so normally as you know I would do this from underneath, I would do this from underneath, but I'm not, I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to do it from above just so you can see. Ignore that. Okay. Right, this is why I said remember your anti-static bag. So you can see the medallion's perfect, but where I did this I must have not gone down with the anti-static bag. But hey ho. So can you see how just I mean that just picks up every bit of detail. It's fab, 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 fab. So I'll show you how to cut that now. I'm not actually gonna do it, but I'm gonna show you how to line it up if I can find the circles. Here we go. So on my, on my double D boss circles, your mistake looks like a deer. It is Chrissy, but let me show you what I meant by mistake. That's a mistake in my eyes there. Look, because I didn't anti-static that far down, same as here. So you know where they'll be going. <laughs> right. So if you remember on my double D boss circles, I keep them with the tape on because I found I, I use my, my medallions and my sentiment coins such a lot I've just kept the, the uh, tape on them so I'm going to show you how to line these up because it really is easy once you've got the gist of it so I'll just get a little bit of removable tape so uh, it's actually easier with with the eyelet ones uh, than it is with the uh, oh, it's actually easier with the eyelet ones than it is with the double D boss because you've got the little holes there, yeah. But all, you, all I'm doing is I'm remember I said to you this when I launched the original sentiment coins and medallions. Ignore all the detail that's going off around the outside, yeah, and just use the edge of the white line. So try to ignore everything that's going off inside because it makes your eyes go a bit funny. Yeah, so that is how you would do that. And I'm just going to do the same with the coin because the coins are a little bit different. Right, so the sentiment coins are a little bit different. Ice cream vans here. If anybody wants one. I'm not buying, obviously. I'm just a poor shopkeeper yeah right so on the on the coins this is when you do ignore absolutely everything on the outer edge so all i'm trying to do look can you see i'll bring it in and show you i basically just use the inner line the dashed line 
I've used the dashed line rather than, the, rather than the outside line. And as long as I can see a little bit of the inner line, yeah, on all the way around, I know that that's going to cut perfectly. Yeah. And then, so I'm not going to do that because obviously I've got them already ready and done. I might do them later and pop them in. But once they're cut, that's what you end up with. So you've got all the uh, holes, the eyelet holes going all the way around. A 99. <laughs> I do owe you one value, you're absolutely right. It was a double one as well. Uh, so that's what you get with the eyelets. It's worth me just mentioning to you as well because um, little details like this are important to me. The holes are exactly the same size on every single die. I'll bring that and show you. Because normally, so that what that means is it, it means that I haven't just taken the circle and and cropped it or anything and dragged it down. I've literally put all these holes in, uh, and they're exactly the, even down to the smallest one. So for somebody like me, a little bit of a perfectionist, it means you don't have to worry about that. I've already done all that for you. You know that it's going to line up perfectly. Right. So that's that. That's that. So now let's show you the brayers so a little bit of kitchen roll is required for this this is one of my favorite things to do and if anybody has followed me for years you'll know that I went through a phase of doing this all the time and I am specifically going to demo this when I'm on when I'm on air yeah if you haven't got a picket fence distressing you need to be getting one pretty sharpish because I can tell you now the nearer it gets to Christmas the harder these are to get hold of yeah so just to explain this to you because I've, I've never actually found a pure white ink pad they're all kind of opaque and what have you and distress the picket fence is an opaque ink so what you end up with is this lovely kind of white washed effect and I, I just think that's beautiful especially on embossing folders this is why I was frantically trying to get brayers made because I want my own and that's what we've got so we'll use the <laughs> now here, here are two words that you never thought you'd hear me say yeah <laughs> think think something else we don't have link link <laughs> wagon wheels <laughs> TJ are they the same as your moon cakes yeah so, so you've got the 6 inch obviously, so if I was doing an 8x8 piece, I will just do a couple of rolls with the 6 inch one. But this is only a little one, so I'll use the small one. This is just a scrap piece. I might put it in with the card next week if I remember, but you know where I'm like. So I'm just going to pick a little bit of this ink up. This is why it needed to be a hard, a hard red rubber rather than a soft one. It's just more even when you it on have you got me back in it right so all I'm gonna do is I'm literally no pressure I'm just gonna let the brayer do the work for me so can you see it's picking up the detail from the embossing folder I shouldn't have done it on kitchen roll actually that was silly of me but I'll show you take it off now and it just brings a whole new dimension to your embossing folders so it's just giving it it's raised all that like a like a whitewashed effect and if I do it on the other side on the deboss side I'm not going to do it all but you'll get the gist this is why it needed to be hard rubber I know I've said that about 500 times but the hard rubber is more forgiving when you're doing this kind of thing you ask Julie she knows all about them the harder ones <laughs> I 
<laughs> She'll kill me. <laughs> right, so we've now got two different looks. So we've got the the raised area. I mean, obviously, you spend a little bit more time on that. Emma, you need to watch the shows next week then, because there's a couple of things I've still not shown you with the brayer. So you've got the uh, the embossed areas defined, and then you've got the debossed areas defined just with the brayer. It's just a, a lovely, lovely shabby sheet look. Yeah, really, really easy to clean these as well. So uh, I'm going to clean it first actually, because I don't want white ink all over me. But if you're not as fussy as me, i.e. if you were like Leone, you'd just do this and be done with it. But this obviously just clicks out so you can run it under the tap. Yeah. Julia! <laughs> no, Gavin. No. I, no. I've, I've got to be honest with you. I personally prefer the the hard red rubber i think you get better results from it you can do everything you can do with the soft brayers you can do with the hard brayers but things you can do with the hard brayers you can't always do with the soft ones so that's why i opted for the red rubber one uh, if you if you get these when we're on the whole channel shows you get both anyway and i'll just can you i'm just going to show you so the this is this is a brand new one i literally took this off the shelves in the shop the other day so the red, the six inch one feels a little bit stiffer. The, the smaller one is rolling freely. And the six inch one feels a little bit tighter. And it's because of the thickness of the rubber. These are going to last for years. And I can I can genuinely say to you, the longer you use these, the easier they are to, to get rolling. Right, so enough rattling. Let's try and get this card finished. Or started at least. It is getting naughty, Jennifer. It's not me, darling. It's all the others. It's, it's Julia, actually. Emma, do you mean with the brayers? I'm trying to keep up with the comments. Trudy, I've just seen you. <laughs> Trust me to lower the tone. Oh, I don't know about that, Val. Don't know about that, love. Right. Anyway, uh so that's basically what i did with these panels yeah i can just i can genuinely say to you having crafted for years and used lots and lots of different brands of embossing folders that mine are the thickest traditional embossing folders that i've ever i've ever seen yeah i don't you probably can't tell from that but the the embossed impression you get from these is amazing and I need to just tell you all, they're not actually here yet. Uh, it's been a nightmare. If anybody follows me on Twitter, you will have seen the issues I've had with UPS just lately. Uh, still having an issue with UPS. So the embossing folders are not here, so they will be on an extended delivery. Um, they promised me they'll be here next week, so they might be here in time anyway. But I'm just going to cover myself and give me a week or two, just in case they're not. Anyway, let's get on with this card now. So don't ask me what size card it is, I can't remember. Uh, I think it's an 18 by something. 21 by 18 I think it is. And this is a top folding card. So I've done all my, a little tip for you again. So I did all my matting and layering and everything. And I've glittered everything and left it to dry before I'm putting it in the, in the, um, in the card i'm sorry i'm just trying to keep up with your comments uh somebody asked me which is the best thing but i, I don't know i never saw your reply uh stephanie no you don't honestly these embossing folds i use a gemini and i've used my gemini base plate and i've used a, a spellbinders raspberry plate uh, but if you haven't got those just use the two gemini plates yeah uh, and see how you go every machine is different you know that every every gemini is different as well helen which card for the embossing folders i'm trying to keep up with your comments so just answer me as i'm sticking together so i'm going to start sticking this inside i'll try and keep up with the comments as i'm doing this uh so make sure i've got this the right way up and i have 
this is my thing I told you right at the beginning the inside of the card this year is my thing so I'm just holding that in place right so you can use absolutely any ink with the brayer any ink any ink pad any paints anything that you can use on anything that you can brayer you can use with these I've used oxides I've used perfect medium I've used um, distressing like you've just seen I've used the versifying clairs so just about any ink that you can brayer on you can you can use so I'm just popping these in so I've got one that's on foam pads and one that's flat so I'm trying to keep the inside of the card flat because these cards weigh a ton and the girls like Julia, Jennifer and Trudy will have seen something that I made last week that took me two days to make I'm not going to show you like you can wait wait till I'm on TV with it but it weighs an absolute ton I won't be posting it to anybody so I'm just explaining to you what I've done there so can you see where the joins overlap the bits they're going to be seen I've just put some glue and a little bit of diamond dazzle the inside of the card I'm going to stick this on while we're working just make sure I've got that the right way yeah So I'm putting this inside now so that while I'm working on the front it, it'll be pressing it down. So just hold it for a second just to grab. Oh that's a shame isn't it? You'll have to watch it on catch up. If, uh, as ever if you have any questions I will try and answer them later on. So I'll close that now and we'll start sticking the top together. I've got no nails, I don't know why I'm not using my tweezers that are here. Anyway, give me some feedback. Do you like the Christmas stuff? You can get it posted to me, fam. <laughs> Judy. Judy, darling, you know you'll only get a birth. A card off me if it ends in a zero and it won't be a Christmas one Chuck right so because I've used two of the same sheets of paper I'm just making sure I've got it the same way down look yeah so I know that that little blobby there I love these because they look textured as well and I've done the same on the top so just oops just get that on there sorry if my head goes in the I'm gonna open that hang on easier to do it open so I'm trying to do a decent job with this because somebody's gonna win it and you'll see it on my shows next week it weighs a ton already and that's just in glitter <laughs> oh dear right so let's pop the border on Classy, not brassy. That's the theme. I know. Sorry, Angie. I I will tell you this though. There won't be a Christmas part two, so you won't. I won't be bringing you another Christmas. Well, I might do a little one, but it won't be mine. It'll be Trudy's. So I'm just popping that in the middle. Is that the middle? Yeah, it looks it to me. it doesn't yeah it does it is now and then remember on here look I've got two I've got two rows of foam tape so I've got double the height and they will go either side and then I'm going to show you another little trick how about that I know sorry Stephanie do you know what the the thing with Chris I mean I love Christmas I mean it's when we make the most cards and every year it's a challenge as a designer it's a challenge to come up with something that's different and I love these these medallions and these coins because you can make them traditional you can make them modern it just depends on which embellishments you use so I've now got my trees top and bottom I trust I promise you this card is straight it's the screen that's skewer yeah 
So we've got the tree top and bottom. I have got a bin there, but everything seems to be gathering. And it's got warm in here. I'll just have a drink. Uh, the afternoon love you'll have to i can see all your comments but no live video oh and that, that's frustrating uh you, you'll be able to watch the video back because it does stay on the facebook page um permanently i will eventually get around to putting them all on youtube judy no oh hang on judy am i lying to you oh oh yes Oh, 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 but I'm going to let Julia tell you about that next week. I'm going to let Julia tell you about that on her show, because it's, it's being released on Julia's show. New cardstock, sorry, everybody. Right, so we've now got the front starting to take shape. And I've already gone ahead, look, and done my sentiment and my little embellishment, yeah? So we've already got the sentiment done with the new elegant eyelets, both of them. And then what happens is when you pop them on here, look. Because I'm just going to bring that closer. So because you're looking, you're looking through there, it looks like white on white. So a little tip for you. I've die cut the exact same size circle in the um, double D bossed, and I'm going to map that onto there. So that has now given us the coloured, the coordinated coloured base, and I've done the same with that one. And I actually quite like, you won't be able to see on the screen, but I actually quite like that you can see one of the deboss lines going all the way around there. It's just little details. You know I like details. And because I know it's the exact same shape, I can just shove it on. And just hold that in place. <laughs> And we're going to do the same with this one. The thing with the sentiment coins and the medallions is they're never ever going to lose. They're never going to go out of fashion. They're always going to be popular. You can change the look completely by just changing the colour of the papers or the cardstock. Yeah. Just, just get your orders in quick is what I'm saying because I, I, I think I know what's going to happen. So I'm just going to move that to one side. I'm going to show you how to glitter these. Because obviously, obviously I've got glitter on everything. So easiest way to do this. And one thing that you never need to worry about is how much glitter you've got on your Christmas cards. Which glue do you use and how quickly does it dry? So Gleb, uh, Gemma, I only use my own glue. So this is the Sentimentally Yours P PVA glue. It's not like normal PVA glue, it's thicker. So what happens is um, it keeps a little bit of dimension, which is which is what I want. So I'm just going to show you how I do this. And I nearly did it wrong. I'm going to put my foam tape on the back. And I'm going to do the same on here. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to hold that in place. And I'm literally just going around the edge. I'm just moving that round. Just remember when you get so far to not put your thumb in the glue. One of the best things about this glue is it keeps a little bit of shape and it dries perfectly clear. And the other thing is, you know, like if, if I've just gone into any of the holes, which I, I did just there. Oops, I stuck my finger in it like that. Because it dries clear it won't matter you'll just be left with a load of sparkle and it rubs off your finger like a bogey well, I don't think it'll be 10 minutes TJ it's a big stock <laughs> but I, I don't think it'll last uh, well you never know we'll see we'll see sleeves are going up because I'm I'm getting hot so I'm just picking that up and I'm just going to let the glitter fall off that. That's what we've got now. 
You'll be using Diamond Dazzle by the bucket load, so make sure you've got some in. I've used Diamond Dazzle and Crystal Aurora the most. But on the original card, which I've lost, oh, it's here. On the original card, look, the one that we're replicating today, on the berry on the berry branches I've just used some of the, the rose glitter because it perfectly matches the papers yep. coordination that's what it's all about I can't keep up with your comments so I'll, I'll look back right so let's start getting this layered together again you've got a lot of control when you're putting these together so I like a lot of dimension but on some of my samples, I've purposefully done them flat because these these um, these sentiment coins and the medallions work just as well if they're just flat layers. Hang on, I can't see. I'm just bringing it towards me. Sorry, everybody. So I'm trying to line up that middle bell look. Perfect. And then we can obviously use a little bell embellishment in the middle of that. And that could quite easily have been one of the mini sentiments. How gorgeous is that look? Super sparkly. Right, now. <laughs> Hopefully, Susan. <laughs> right, so here's all my bits for this card. <laughs> <laughs> just for this card <laughs> so I'm just going to explain to you what I've done yeah um, one of the questions I get asked a lot is about the and you know this is about the flowers and how they keep the shape and it's because I use good cardstock and I was just saying to Julia the other day how well the snowflake dies cut through the card now if, if like me you've used snowflake dies before and they got stuck in them and oh they used to be so frustrating these cut like a dream so i'm just going to bring these in and let you have a quick look how beautiful are they so the only color the only glitter i've used on these is diamond dazzle i've kept it uh, translucent so let's start putting this together so the big one as you know always goes at the bottom now i'm going to use oops i'm going to use pin flare for this because this is quite a heavy it's quite a heavy flower so I'm popping some pin flare on and it's going to go in that corner and then I'm going to put my holly on so I'm just going to explain to you why I've done the holly the way I've done it you can't actually see the deboss lines because I've covered it with glitter but you will when you've bought these and you've got them home so what I've done is I've made the the little petals a little bit further away than normal oops because it means then you can start overlaying other things on top and it doesn't detract from the holly yeah doesn't detract from the holly leaves so I'm just going to shape these back and these are going on with my glue how long have I been on this about three hours so I'm just going to drag that through there and I do want a bit on the bottom so I'm putting the holly on this is why I mean I said this with the leafy fronds and everything this is why all my leaves wet, wet, and any leaves I do in the future yeah will uh, will have a longer stem than you traditionally get yeah um, and that means that when you're tucking underneath like this you don't have to worry about losing any of the leaves at the bottom although I quite I quite like some of them to be buried I'm going up there this time this is my favorite part this is why I always go quiet Let's just make sure I've got the right ones because there are two different sorts. 
Yeah, that's that one and that one. And these are going at the side. I love poinsettias on a card. Well, flowers full stop, as you know. I'm just going to bring that holly down a bit. It's too far up. That's better. It's coming together. And then, in case you've never noticed, so at the bottom of the card is generally where I have the biggest the biggest embellishments. So this is the biggest poinsettia. This is why I included five in the set. So you've got you've got enough there to make lead poinsettias. You'll notice as well that it's five petals, so it's it's not perfectly symmetrical, but poinsettias aren't. So it actually looks really beautiful when it's done. So the biggest one goes at the bottom, and then it means I can have a smaller version at the top. going there and then I've got two smaller ones again this is why I like doing all the details like the stitching the embossing on the background things that you don't notice straight away beautiful even if I say so myself right so you know where that one's going that one's for the inside one of those is for the inside as well and these little berry branches yeah I'm going to be really brutal and I'm going to snap snap the ends off because I'm just going to tuck these underneath details details so I'm just going to get my pokey tool make sure that that's pushed down so the card is connected with the paper so I'm just going to tip that up and hopefully not knock everything off and then the inside of the car so I purposefully left that clear so you've got somewhere to write yeah uh, on one of them the blue card that I did here which absolutely weighs a ton as well I've used the Ticket Tape Tastic Seasonals look. Let it snow at Christmas because obviously it's a snowflakey card. Yeah. You you can do what you what you like. And I'm going to use my glue to pop this one in because this needs to be a little bit flatter. So although this flower is still three layers, I'm just going to pop that there. I can pop that down and squash it in. And then we'll just tuck one of these underneath and we're just about finished so this one will need to be flat because obviously you're going to shut the card i'm covered in glitter i'm covered in glue but do you know what it was worth it because that card is beautiful even if I say so myself. Hang on, just wipe this dry. Got bits everywhere. And there we have it. So, first Christmas demo of 2020. I hope you like it. So this is the uh, this is from the snow, uh, the stars and snow paper pack. They're both together, as you know. I always do two together, so you can mix and match. That's the front of the card. There's quite a lot of dimension to this. <laughs> just for a change, eh? <laughs> the little berry branch is just finishing it off. I would probably tuck a few more in later on. Love the holly. And you can see that I've shaped it so that it follows the circles. Yeah. So that's the front of the card. 
and then we've got the inside of the card to match as well you could obviously put a few more flowers on the inside if you wanted to um, which I probably would probably would in fairness if I was sending this to somebody I would probably have another couple of berries on there or a bigger poinsettia but there you go do you like it I hope you like Christmas 2020 Trudy and I both worked really hard on these to bring you something classy not brassy and look how different I'm just going to bring the blue one in again look how different that looks do you see what I mean about having your lovely traditional style and then the more modern? So on the bottom of the snowflake one, can you see I've used the snowflake embossing folder? And I've shabby sheet some of the raised areas with stormy sky. This one is still raised, but I've used a distress oxide to, and clear embossing powder on there. But how different do they look from the same set of stamps? Chrissy, do you know what? I might, I might look at that. The problem is that I never... I never think about the size of cards when I'm making them. I just do whatever's in my brain. So, so for me to do a for me to do a box, um, I would need to do about fifty different box shapes. <laughs> well, I'm glad you like it. I absolutely love this collection. Uh, you will see as well because I mean, me and Trudy were laughing at this. I I love Trudy's stamps. So you're going to see some of those featured on my on my samples as well when we start showing you next week because they're just too nice. You imagine one of instead of having all these poinsettias, you imagine that snow princess just just stood there with all that in the background. It's going to look amazing. The two sets of stamps together are going to be phenomenal, absolutely amazing. So I'm glad you like it, everybody. Remember, none of the Christmas stuff is available yet. It won't be available until Julia launches next thursday yeah sneaky peaks will commence proper sneaky peaks will commence in the group uh crafting with phil martin and sentimentally yours so make sure you've joined the group they will start on monday and then hopefully we've got lots of demos planned for you and you can see everything trudy uh, i know trudy's watching so trudy might start sharing her colored images because she's already colored all of these characters in uh just to give you some ideas of how I mean, I can't believe this. They're absolutely amazing when they're coloured in. So, Trudy, if you want to start showing them that over the weekend uh, on your own Trudy Howard Sentimentally Yours page, do it. Give people some ideas before they start. But I, I cannot wait till next year. Christmas Christmas samples are one of my favourites. Uh, next week, I mean. So, I will see you all next week. I will draw a winner for this after the, face, after the show's next weekend. Um, I'm not sure there will be a Facebook Live next week because I'm usually full of a migraine after I've done a one day special but we'll see, we'll see, I'll prep one just in case and I'll let you all know so thank you for watching everybody, I'm glad you like this uh, you imagine this done in all five different colourways from your Christmas cards are going to be so gorgeous this year <laughs> all five different colourways from that paper pack amazing, no Trudy I want you to do it yeah so thank you everybody, let me just dry this before I put the card on the wet mat. Thank you for joining me for just over an hour again. I'm glad you like the stamps, wait till you see the samples of the rest because the design team are amazing. Uh, I will see you all next Friday at 6pm and Julia will see you next Thursday at 7pm. So thanks everybody, have a safe week and I will see you all next week. Bye.